myself Satish Tharange, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Balchan Institute of Technology, Solap. In today's session, we are going to see the decision making under certainty, solution of the transportation problem by the least cost method. Here, at the end of the session, the students will be able to formulate the business problem in the linear programming problems to solve the problem in the physical distribution of the products. And he is also able to apply in the quantitative analysis to solve the problems in the physical distributions of the product or commodity. And finally, he is going to determine the schedule of the transportation to minimize the transportation cost. Here, we will see the what is the transportation problem. The problem consists of the optimum allocation of the community from the various sources to the different destinations. Here, the source, source is what? Here, the source is nothing else where the community is or the product is produced. And the destination is nothing else where there is a demand of the community or the dip, uh, product. Here, the following data should be known or it should be fixed. First of all, you should know the capacity of the production of the particular sources, that is the availability and the requirement of the each destination, that is the requirement and you should along with that, you should know the cost of transportation of one unit of the community or the product from one sources to the other destination. Here, the particular transportation problem should consist the following Datas. First of all, you should there. There should be a data of uh, source with the availability. Second, the designation with the requirement. Unit cost of transportation from various sources to the designations. See, the final objective of the transportation problem is to have a or to make a schedule of the transportation of the various community or the product from the sources to the designation with the minimum transportation cost. This is the simple network diagram of the particular transportation problem. Here. The circle node with the orange color represent the sources and the circle node with the purple color represent the designations. There are m number of sources and n number of designations are there. The various community or the product can be supplied from the source to designation from 1 to 1 of the designation, 1 to 2 designation, 1 to n designation in such a way to we can carry from 2 for the 2 also for m number of the sources also. See, keep in mind the main intention of the transportation problem is nothing else to have the proper or the, there should be a proper schedule of the transportation of the community or product with the minimum transportation cost. Here, this is a transportation problem table. In this table, we observe that there are the uh, cells which are showing the sources as well as the designation with their ability and their requirement along with the transportation cost. A simple example, if the what is the cost of the supply of the commodity or the product from source 1 to designation 1 is C11 and C12 is the cost of the particular transportation from the source S1 to designation D2. This all the costs are for the unit commodity or unit product of the transportation. Now before going to start the a problem of the transportation or you can say the solution to solution of the particular transportation problem we should confirm whether the given or the having transportation problem is a balanced transportation problem or the untra unbalanced transportation problem. Now the balanced transportation problem is nothing else the total quantity available is the same as that of the requirement. And the unbalanced transportation problem is nothing else. It is a total quantity available is not same as that of the total requirement. In such a case, we have to go for the addition of the dummy source or the dummy designation or you can say dummy column or row as per the requirement to convert the particular unbalanced problem to the transportation or with the balanced transportation problem. Finally, a feasible solution is what? The row total of the allocation is equal to the availabilities and the column total is equal to the requirement. The particular transportation problem can be solved by the following three method. In today's session, we will see with the least cost method. Here, this is a problem which has to which have, we have to solve it by the least cost method. Now, the name itself is saying that least cost method means what the least cost the least cost means what you have to select 
the overall cost we have to see the table in that particular table the cost which is the least one we have to select that cell now in this this is the first step here when we see the table in the particular of the uh, transportation problem here the yellow color that is eight the cell of the eight which is the least cost in overall uh, transportation cost here the eight is lying in the d2 designation and the source available is s3 here the demand is of eight and the availability of the uh, commodity or the product is 18 then the designation d2 is satisfied totally from the source s3 as it has been satisfied there is a column reduction of d2 which can be seen in the next step this is the reduced table of the step 1 again we have to select the cell having the le unit least or you can say lowest unit cost in the entire particular table here the present the 10 is the least cost which is lying in the d2 uh, sorry uh, d4 designation and the source is s1 here the particular demand of d4 is 14 and the availability of the community or the product with the source s1 is only 7 so the only 7 is been satisfied and the left still left are the 7 in the d4 as to the total 7 is supplied by the source s1 there is a row reduction which can be seen in the next step the this is a row reduction table of step 2 again select the cell having the lowest unit cost in this particular table the unit lowest unit cost is 20 which is lying in d4 designation and the source is s3 here again the demand is of 7 and the source s3 already is 10 means the designation d4 dem uh, demand is totally been satisfied and the left community or the product with the s3 source is 3 as the D d4 demand uh, designation is satisfied there is a column reduction which can be seen in the next step the reduction table of the step 3 is in this particular slide again select the cell having the lowest unit cost here the designation d1 and d3 is left with the source s2 and s3 in this overall particular table the lowest or you can say the lowest unit cost is 40 we observe in this table there are two 40 cells you can select any one here i have selected the 40 which is of source 2 and designation d3 here the demand of d3 is 7 and the source uh, availability of the community or product with the source s2 is 9 as there is availability of 9 the d3 demand is totally been satisfied and the available so, uh, community or the product with the s2 is left is 2 as the d3 is satisfied there is a column reduction of d3 which can be seen in the next step here this is a reduced table of step 4 again we have to select the lowest unit cost in the entire table here the lowest cost is 40 and which is lying in the d1 and the source is s3 your d1 demand is 5 and the s3 uh, available of uh, commodity or the product is 3 the overall the particular uh, demand d1 is satisfied by 3 and the left still the demand is of 2 as the overall product product and the community has been supplied by s3 source the there is a row reduction that is s3 which can be seen in the next step the final table which is left is with the designation d1 and the source s2 it has been the demand is of 2 and source availability availability is 2 it has been satisfied this is a slide which is showing the overall the table with the particular total transportation cost with the help of lowest least cost method the least cost method with the help of least cost method the total transportation cost 
is 814 but when we compare with the northwest corner method the same problem when we solve it with the northwest corner method we are getting the particular cost is 1000 1015 which is greater than the least cost method so when the transformation problem of lcm is compared with the northwest corner method least cost method is always lesser than or equal to the northwest corner method this is a slide which is for the answer answering from your side select the correct answer hope so you have selected these answers this is a reference which is used for the today's session thank you